Hello viewers, Santa our Sunbury Line Rail Fan Joe here and today we're going to take a closer look at this active Federal Electric Model 5 Siren. This one was built on February 15th, 1931. It still serves to this day. It sounds for fire calls at 12 p.m. noon. This siren has been in service for 93 years. This thing is 93 years old, still sounds super healthy and they take great care of it. Here's your disconnect box here. As you can see this is what they use to cut the power to the siren when it goes down for yearly maintenance. Um, they do grease it up once a year, um, which is really good because it keeps this thing running smoothly. I'm going to zoom out a little here to show you the whole thing. As you can see here, it's got your conventional roof mount for this type of siren. This is probably what a lot of the old Federal Electrics had back in the 1920s, back in the 30s and the 40s. Um, and then in 1948, um, Federal Enterprises took over after they merged with Federal Electric. Um, they took over Siren production. And that's when the new model series came out, like the upgraded Model 2, the upgraded Model 5, which looks a little bit different from this one. This is a Federal Code Model 5. Um, and we are going to show you the front of the siren and that iconic federal code badge which is in really good shape on this one so we're going to zoom in here and show you guys the rotor and stator which is under the bottom sound deflector here there it is. hope you guys can see that that is the rotor and stator and the stator consists of 12 ports this is a single tone siren like i said single tone siren i believe this one got upgraded to a seven and a half horsepower motor so we can technically consider this a five or seven um because they're pretty much the same because there were federal call model sevens but this is a five so i have seen the info tag on this one this is a federal electric mach 5a it's a three phase runs on 240 volts and at full power, the motor spins at 3,503 revolutions per minute. There's the sound deflector right there, which is in reasonably good shape. If we look underneath the second one here, up on the top one, you can see this also helps with deflecting the sound. But also, if you look carefully, you can see the, you can see the mounting eye, which is what's used for mounting the housing onto the siren. Now if you look carefully right there, you can see the service door. This is the service door, which allows them to access the motor, oil the bearings, you know, change the brushes. And some of these sirens, you will see the access door removed. Makes them easier to service and maintain. So we're going to come around the front of the siren here. So you guys can see that iconic metal code plate. Which is very, very interesting that these sirens have it. Because a lot of these old Federal Electrics, sometimes the Federal Code plates are either badly damaged, you know, they might be missing. But here on Dalton's 5, it's still there and it's in really good condition. We're going to go ahead and show you that here. Here we are, looking at the front of the siren now. So we're going to zoom in on that. Here's the front and right here. Right there, you can see the iconic Federal Code badge. That is in really good shape to this day. You can even see the rotor here on this side too. Gonna get you a good close up look at that. There it is. Look at that. The iconic Federal Code plate. You can even see the top mounting right there. Sorry, camera doesn't want to focus today. Look at that. If you guys think this is cool, I definitely agree. Here's a better look at the roof mount here. So, yeah, there it is. This is the classic Federal Electric. Model 5A, three-phase, single-tone, 
I believe seven and a half horsepower. I'd have to consult the fire chief um, whether or not they changed the motor on this thing. But back in 1931, this siren would have originally had a five horsepower motor. Get you one last up close look here. Get you iconic federal code badge. Yep, there it is. This is a up close ground tour of Dalton's Federal Electric Model 5A.